quality in uh, intellectual property. I thought it's a very relevant uh, topic in in the distribution of prop, of, uh, of uh, resource, and especially in the north south. Uh, debate, and I'm going to talk about the patenting of genetic methods, especially by revisiting two cases of uh, Prometheus and uh, Mayo and, and uh, Myriad in 2013, last year, and which has already diverted a little bit from the previous practice from the 80s to, um, to, to last year. And the, the outline today is I'll do some introduction to these two uh, cases, and then uh, uh, as an international lawyer, my job, my role is especially interested in analyze uh, corresponding rights and obligations of different stakeholders, such as uh, uh, countries, member states of WTO, and uh, corporations, as well as the general public as a whole. <coughs> uh, uh, to what extent does the general public has a right, uh, appropriate expectation on the right to health? And then I will talk about these two cases and their consequences uh, as general. Then I will come up with a more generic uh, a proposal for, for future directions. So uh, we all know that breakout one and breakout two are two major genes that could be uh, used to identify if you have a uh, 40 genes to, uh, to develop a cancer, uh, breast cancer and ovar ovarian cancer. And last year, when uh, the Hollywood uh, goddess Angelina Jolie has a personal experience in un undertaking this uh, uh, testing, she also testified in the uh, newspaper that the cost of BRCA1 and BRCA2 at uh, $3,000 in the United States is just too, too much over the top. So it's not affordable to the general public. and. Uh, the price in the, 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 the UK is around 2000 to 3000 uh, if you require a private test. Yeah, so it's still quite uh, an enormous burden for, for, for women to take. So um, as a consequence, uh, the Nuffield Council on Bioethics has already identified that equality issue in health is the most uh, primary uh, issue to consider for individual diagnostic uh, service in, on top of uh, all the bioethics considerations. And I'm going to talk about the uh, uh, rights and responsibilities uh, outlined in the international economic law framework, especially in the WTO TRIPS agreement, where member states or countries have the obligations to uh, grant patent protections as well as uh, uh, providing technical assistance or international trans technology transfer to underdeveloped countries. So this chart basically sum up of my, uh, the, the first part of my talk today, is how do you strike a balance between different stakeholders, uh, such as uh, member states, uh, the, uh, countries, uh, as well as uh, co corporations like uh, pharmaceutical companies, uh, or di diagnostic uh, companies on the public, whether the public has a role to play or has, uh, can engage in this uh, scenario to set the appropriate level of uh, pro uh, health protection of a, com of a country. So as I just mentioned, that com uh, states, they have the right to protect public health that is uh, recognized in international economic law, and, but they have also have the conflicting obligations to protect uh, intellectual property. So they need to provide at least a minimum of 20 years of uh, monopoly to uh, companies. And so that company could in, um, enjoy the 20 plus years to uh, enjoy in the, the, this market uh, uh, strategy. But uh, as you can see, the companies, they also have bear the corresponding responsibility of uh, they need to prevent the abuse of IP if they have proved to be uh, like a, a, a too overwhelming a, a, a mon monopoly, then there is a need for the competition law to, 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 to intervene to play. And then uh, there's more increasingly uh, emphasis on corporate social responsibility of such companies 
for them to uh, discharge their CSR in uh, contributing to right to health. And then the public is more a uh, tricky one because obviously it was like uh, outlined in the international uh, declaration or international law that the public, the uh, patients, basically they have a right to health. But human rights is very notorious, well, ill-defined, so it, you could very hardly um, uh, embody what is the right to health, what is the appropriate right to health, and this involved a, a relocation of uh, resources. And so how to establish the right perspective on health, I think it would require some empirical studies. So, uh, so here is the WTO TRIPS agreement, and these are the fundamental uh, principles for protecting uh, patents. So basically, uh, the governments are required to grant patent protection to all fields of technology. So that is to say, no matter what is, uh, uh, whether it is, uh, have spatial, social implications or not, basically the, the default position is you have to grant patent protection. So as long as a company uh, asks for monopoly protection, then you have to consider. However, and the WTO trips agreement also consider that if the government uh, wish, so they can exclude certain um, types of uh, uh, technology from te uh, patentability, such as uh, diagnostics and therapeutic and ser surgical method for humans or animals. But this is not a stance of the American or European or UK governments taken. Um, where uh, delineating the boundary between rights and responsibilities, uh, we need to visit the principles and uh, purpose of the TRIPS agreement, which is uh, outlined here. This uh, basically is requires the the provide the provision of IP uh, needs to be balanced against uh, innovation and transfer of technology, and also to consider the mutual advantage of the rights uh, user and an inventor. And there are also some limited exceptions and uh, exclusions, such as compulsory licensing uh, embedded in this uh, flexibility of IP. So um, then the government, are also, especially in developed countries, are obliged to provide technical uh, assistance and technology transfer to these developed countries. So, and then the uh, Universal Declaration on Bioethics and Human Rights also identify the benefit sharing and the obligation to uh, transfer technology to this developed country is a, 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 a requirement uh, in international law. So, uh, as to the justification of IP, we know that IP is the tool used for innovating, uh, incentivizing innovation. However, uh, as I just say, that from the 1980s, the uh, American government or uh, the, the EU actually is also in the position to grant uh, diagnostic methods. And, but after the Mayo and Prometheus case in 2012, there's a trend to gradually divert it from the previous uh, 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 patent strategy, which are in this case and the following mirror case, they identify this court, which is, I think is quite important, is they find that the genetic uh, diagnostic method is, uh, can be labeled as a law of nature, which could be excluded from patentability. And it also identified that um, that patent protection is a two-edged sword. So on one hand, uh, you provide incentive, but on the other hand, they limit the flow of information, which could be adverse uh, effect the public's access to knowledge, access to information. Um, so basically, the Prometheus case and the following Miriam case last year was basically uh, narrowing down the patentability of diagnostic um, uh, uh, method. However, in the Maria case, they also uh, pinpoint that if the patent, the patent is applied for a synthetic complementary DNA, which is like a human manipulation of the DNA, then this, this technology will be still patentable. And the consequence of this Maria and Prometheus case is that the companies are now diverting from patents to trade secrets. So now they are uh, submitted their 
uh, clinical data to individual their individual uh, institutions. So there is more co worrying consequence of their uh, more limitation to uh, data sharing, and they, this will be a, 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 a negative effects on the interpretation of clinical clinical data uh, at large. So my uh, recommendation will be we have to uh, follow a public goods approach through uh, bio biotech regulation. So um, the Nuffield Council also identified the downsides of patent is that you could never quantify the optimal protection of patent, whether it's 10 years, 20 years, 5 years, or sometimes in some uh, TRIPS plus uh, uh, agreements, they could be go up to 30 years plus uh, data exclusivity period for 10 years. So literally, it's just very uh, not an evidence-based uh, uh, approach. So um, here, the Nuffield Council has already identified some other options, like you need to have a stronger government in intervention by government funding and by taxation, and also incorporate more social, uh, corporate social responsibilities. And here is the Paul Hans version of the uh, UN Assembly Report on Corporate Social Responsibility. So by adopting the following uh, five or six uh, uh, approaches, uh, then the company could be expected to discharge their responsibilities uh, in promoting access to and decrease, decreasing inequality. Uh, so this is quite trivial, so you can have a look uh, on the website. And here also after the credit crunch, uh, the famous economist uh, Joseph Stiglitz also reflecting on the uh, failure of uh, neoliberalism uh, uh, after the uh, globalization. So he proposed a, a, a very similar to Nuffield Council's approach is that government needs to play a greater uh, active role in uh, shaping or guiding the development of this industry. So patent is important, but it has so much downsides, such as like coordination, so it's not efficient, and it's decentralized, it's uh, uh, highly uh, uh, distortions and not equitable and you have to complement uh, the patent system with the price system such as uh, 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 the UK's uh, Royal Society price system or you have to involve more government funding research. So and there are also some other avenues for alternatives to patents such as uh, recently the uh, different government has uh, consider uh, early access to medicine. Uh, so this uh, scheme uh, will, will be um, significant increase the public's access to, to, to healthcare. And then we also need to consider a, a more gener generous uh, licensing scheme, such as a medicine <coughs> patent pools. And also currently uh, there are some patent sharing uh, initiatives undergoing in, uh, in uh, corporations such as Twitter and Google. So um, I think there's a, a, a way forward to a public health uh, regime. Okay, and these are some of the references. Okay, thank you.